When you arrive at Kennick Stadium, you know what's in store. Hard nose, toughness, defense, and you better bring your hat and be ready to strike somebody when you come into this black and gold cauldron to take on the Hawkeyes. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 12 team in the country, the Washington Huskies, taking on another team from the Big Ten, the Iowa Hawkeyes. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's going for it all. Oh, he dropped it. And what a missed opportunity early in this football game. Second down after that incompletion. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Across the 45. Tackle is made after the first down. And this receiver is so dangerous. There's so many different ways that he can hurt a defense. You've got to throw it to him conventionally, but find creative ways to get him the football out in space and let him go to work. Quarterback extends the play. Got some room in into the goal line. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Husky. When you have so many playmakers on offense like they do, they can score quickly. <laughs> you just saw it right there. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Makes the tackle at the 22, but it's a 15-yard gain, and now they're in business on first down from their own 22. He's looking to throw it. Quickly out to the tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. The Huskies come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Trying to beat the D deep. Oh, he toast the coverage? Got it deep downfield. Touchdown, Huskies! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Number five. Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse. And they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet, everything you're picking. And he breaks into the open. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. I bet that running back's eyes got so big. When he gets that handoff going to the right and he sees the huge holes, yes, please. The defense just didn't flow quickly enough. All of the blockers had leverage on their men. And that defensive line has to get off the ball a little bit better, get some penetration to stop that outside run. They'll force him out of bounds after a solid pickup on the play. And here comes the offense on second down. Off the play fake. They're trying to get to it. 
And boy, was that pressure in his face immediately. Down he goes. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Throws for the tight end. Got his man. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Leaves it with the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Back to pass, it's Henry. Pocket starts to collapse. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone. He's loose. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up, and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. Running back searching for a hole. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He leaves it with his back. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Offensively, are you going to take four to six every play? Yes, please. Sign me up for that. I'm going to take that every single time. Great job by the offense. Staying patient, staying true to who they are. You want to run the football. You want to be physical. You want to establish yourself. Check, check, check. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, David. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes, and you want to shut this crowd up early. You don't want to give them belief, because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. Might as well give it to him again. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Getting some heat. He's going to run it. And this is why a mobile quarterback is a defensive coordinator's worst nightmare. He has just been running wild all day. On first and goal, let's see what Washington does. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. They'll run it to the left, looking for the touchdown here. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. Defense going all in to stop the run. They're going to throw it on third and goal. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Well, here's an interesting decision. Bunch formation trying to confuse the secondary. Looking for a man, it's Henry. Feeling some heat. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. 
At the 45 on his way. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Fires to the wideout. And they can't connect, but the flag flies, and I think this is going to be pass That's interference. Defense. 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 And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught it. The offense comes back out with a new set of downs after the penalty. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the tight end. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Got a man, it's Jackson. Listen, nice completion, short game. Now you get to third down. Third down's more manageable. But guess what? If I don't get it on third down, I still got that fourth down in my pocket. Nowadays, analytics, we're going for it anyways. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go so... First down here for the offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Grabbed in the middle, it's Boston. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Well, this offense knew coming into this game, they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. Wants to throw, it's Henry. Fires it down the seam. And they took a shot on that one, but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. After misfiring, it's second down. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. Going to try to get it himself. And they're able to make the tackle. Clock winding towards zero. They'll get one more snap off. On third down, he drops the throw. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Here comes the offense on first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He's got him wide open. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. And a big reason why this team has the lead in this game is because of plays like that. They know they've got firepower throwing the ball. They've got the dudes outside that can make things happen. You saw it in the first half, and you see it here again early in the third quarter. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and he's going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Touchdown, Washington! And they take it in for six more points. No mid-season concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. And that's why this running back is so dangerous. It's not just handing him off the football, but he's a weapon in the passing game. You see his, his ability to catch it, turn up field, make people miss, and find the end zone. And they'll try to tack on two. Trying to pound their way in. He's got a nose for that goal line. First he scored the touchdown. Now he makes his way in for the two-point conversion. Hey. 
Offense getting set for first down. From the gun, the ground game. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Less than a yard to go to pick up the first down. The give to the back. Oh, it's on the ground. Life ball. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Oh, and it's... And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. They coughed it up on that last drive, but the defense really bailed them out, holding him to a field goal, Jesse. Yeah, and I think the offense kind of got away from their identity a little bit on that last drive, David. They got to kind of get back to doing it. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. And that defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman in the block. He's got athleticism. He's got length. He's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that sack. Dropping back, it's Henry. He rifles one deep down the right side. It's complete, a huge pickup. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. They say it's still a game of field position, and that last one just flipped this baby. They've got it first and 10 in the red zone. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Got it! Touchdown, Washington! And the route is on. And these offenses get in a rhythm. They're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. They had this thing in a hammerlock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Paul. They've done what they want in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. He's looking to throw. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. Now they'll run the draw. Nice move to keep moving. He was running through tackles and picked up the first down and finally got knocked down. And the Husky is getting set on first and ten. Looking downfield, it's Henry. He spins that thing down the middle. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Husky. And the pummeling has started. This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. Yeah, it just gets in the zone, right? When you can't miss, you, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making him feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little bit... This is what you're looking for when you have the better team. Go out and show it. Don't fool around with them. Go out and play to a standard of excellence. Just dominate. You know you're going to take care of business. You know you're going to win. It's, almost, it's like how many? How many can I win by? And I like that you keep your foot on the gas and just continue to pile it on. It's their job to stop you. Let them do their job. You just keep going on. It's 
not about the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. This is why recruiting is so important in college football. They just had better players, more physical. They were faster, and it showed today. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.